Hello, everyone, and welcome to AI with Sohini. Today, we talk about complex document processing. So what happens if you have documents uh, that have printed text? It may have, you know, tables in it. It may have, you know, ad addresses uh, written on it. And it also can have handwritten text. It can have signatures. So if you have multiple different categories of objects in a particular, you know, image, which is actually, you know, text uh, on it, then creating a digitized version of these documents can be extremely tricky. And that's why this is a separate genre which forms intelligent character recognition. And that is the topic for today. If this is of interest to you, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And let's get started. So let's start by understanding the major difference between intelligent character recognition and optical character recognition. Now, the major difference is the fact that most of the real world documents are complex documents. So let's say that you get a document notarized or if you have, you know, a uh -oh, administration or business documents where you already have printed stuff, but you also, you know, end up having a signature or a seal and, and a signature on top of it or additional text in multiple different formats, then it becomes a complex document and a standard OCR, which is just used to read text at different angles and orientations may not really work because now you really have to do two things, which is digitize a printed text, but also look at handwritten text detection, which is a whole different different problem altogether. So today we are going to be looking at intelligent character recognition and we are going to be learning about it through this platform called V7. We are going to be learning the different AI models that are available at the free academic licensed version. And I really encourage anybody and everybody watching this to try it out if you want to use something for document processing in your research work. So ICR typically has two requirements. First off, you require a handwritten text detection along with a standard image-based text, text detection. And secondly, you require categorization of these texts. So let's say that you have a document that has addresses, that has um, you know, actual text corresponding to it, it has signature. So then you need a system which will automatically detect the signature the to, the from, the addresses, if there are costs associated to it, all of this will get detected as well. So to give you an example of different deep learning models, ICR, so you can see models such as InvoiceNet, which is again a deep learning model, and it is designed to categorically look for the sender's name, the bill of materials, the cost, and also the, you know, the person who is being billed to. So all of these categorization is the most important aspect in something like ICR. However, a standard OCR may be a model such as Rosetta by Facebook, where you typically look for bounding boxes and then detect the text within it. Now, it's really difficult to get a public domain data set that is designed for something like ICR. So that's the reason why I actually had to create some of the data on my own. So let me walk you through the process that I used in order to generate the data. Now, first off, I downloaded some of PDFs, which were class notes. And then I used my Wacom tablet in order to annotate. So pull up these Power PDFs and annotate these slides. And those annotated versions, I then use the Adobe PDF to JPEG converter to convert these into images. So let's start with understanding how the models actually work. So if we go to V7, we go straight to the model section. And here in the model section, you can actually see there are multiple publicly, you know, trained uh, models that's already available out there. The three that we are going to be you know, looking at today are going to be the, the receipt scanner, the invoice scanner, and of course, the text scanner, which is standard for your uh, you know, OCR uh, techniques. So let's start with the invoice scanner. And here I'm just going to you know, click start. The model is ready. You will see that it is running. And let's go into the model itself. And what we can do here is we can upload an image and check the outcome on it. So let's start with the first First one, which is actually a, a poor quality, uh, you know, invoice that has text as well as, uh, you know, 
typed uh, you know data and here you can actually see these are all of the different labels that come out so this customer address the date the service date and the layout and if you want to check the outcome you can actually see that the address is correctly extracted so the the, the handwritten text actually ends up um, you know getting uh, extracted pretty well so now let's try to you know stop this one and look at another model so next let's look at receipt scanner again the inference will be run here and you can again see that the categories are uh, are given out but as you can see the number of categories are lesser so the invoice scanner was actually doing a better job uh, in on this particular image so now if you take a look at the at a receipt scanner so you'll actually and this was since this was actually a receipt you'll see that the number of different categories is way higher in in this case and uh, again the it's it'll, it'll tell you what the different text was uh, what the different quantities was with the uh, with the confidence score that comes uh, you know corresponding to each and every one of them so this ends up being a, a good option if you specifically have a receipt so that's why although it may seem like something similar but a receipt as well as a you know invoice scanner can actually you know run pretty differently okay now I, that i know that my model is running let's create a new data set so uh first off let me create a new data set and here i'm i'm calling it uh complex doc and i say continue and I am going to send all of the images to it with a goal to specifically be able to extract all the different kinds of text in this particular um, you know, data set. So if I want to create a new class, let's say I call it written with the bounding box and text and I add it. OK, and then I say the basic workflow. And once this is generated, now I will need to go to the basic workflow uh, corresponding to it and change it. Because now I will need to create a model. And for the AI model, I will need to connect it to uh, the, the text scanner. And once this is there, I am then going to connect the images directly to AI model. And from the AI model, I'm going to send them to annotate, right? And if I say save and apply, and now in order to see you know how has the process worked let me go and send a particular image to the model so let's review the results of the text scanner on something like a like which looks like a receipt so here you'll see the address actually you know ends up not getting detected and of course you know some of the handwritten text is detected but you know all of it does not so whenever there is a combination of handwritten text along with uh, you know as you know printed data you might need to pick a model which is specifically made for this in this case it might be invoice net uh, in order to make sure that the model is is doing uh, you know optimally now let's look at the uh, handwritten text in this case we we actually see that the handwritten text detection is doing a way better job if i use just ocr and of course if i have a certain region which is uh, which is remaining i can actually um, end up auto annotating it So here you see the words that were you know not detected. I ended up you know making them, uh, adding them to it, and then I say you know send to review. So if we take a look at something like this, um, where this was the annotated slide that I had, you'll see in some cases because it is all mathematical notations. Um, in 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 cases like this, of course, all of the mathematical notations are not correctly identified. Here you see it's it's calling it twenty two. It's actually omega, right? And the need is is extracted, but example is not extracted, and also for measure and and you know a lot of the mathematical annotations it was actually missed so in these cases if you need to fine tune it then uh, you can actually use the ocr uh, you know detector in this case but uh, fine tune it for you know after annotating these specific regions of interest now let's look at this particular you know notarized document and if you will see that the ocr is actually doing pretty good job at something like a no you know notarized document of course some of the text is is missing but apart from that if you you know scroll into the the handwritten text detections it has actually done a pretty good job at the, at the certifications and you know even extracting data text from the uh, from the seals here we take a look at something like this then you will again see that 
uh, ideally in this case uh, a receipt a receipt detector would be would probably be a better identifier because there you'll not just detect all of this text but you will also be able to um, you know categorize them final thoughts uh, the v7 platform has uh, text scanners that are of you know, train on very different kinds of documents. As you've seen, there is an invoice version, there's a receipt version, there's a, and of course, there's a, you know, text scanner that works pretty well on handwritten as well as, uh, you know, printed text. So for content digitization, specifically for, um, you know, complex documents, the, the, there is a, a great variety of starting points and you can start from either one of them and, and keep fine tuning it based off of the format in which your 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 data gets uh, you know extracted and you can always try out which one uh, you know is it suits your model the best so in this case just start with either one of the three invoice net receipt scanner or with your ocr and keep fine tuning based off of your data so i hope you find this useful uh, in order to not just annotate but also learn about models and to make your models better